morning. I'm Dan Coffin, certified professional agronomist, and I'm out here this morning in my second home, a cornfield. You know, as we were looking through fields through the winter, we recognized last year that we had a huge amount of fodder. Some people call it trash. Most properly, it should be called residue. And residue management is a very important part of cycling nutrition in your soil. It's a very important part of, of soil health. And as we look closely at what we find, there's a lot of material laying down here on the surface of the soil. And represented in each and every piece of every cell of these pieces of fodder is nutrition and energy. And energy cycling and nutrition cycling in a field is very important to long-term productivity. Obviously, the longer this material sets here, if the wind comes along and blows it away, we've lost it all. So our objective is to try to get that material back into our production system as fast as we can with dollars that make sense in the business of economics. So the important part about understanding how this material breaks down is that some of these cells that are in here are very difficult to degrade. They contain compounds called cellulose or lignin. You've heard of those before, more than likely. And oftentimes, they're very resistant to water. When water hits them, the water just simply moves off. It's the business of microbes, bacteria, and fungi, and even insects, to eat and consume this and open it up so that water and uh, air can get to these cells and microbes can get to these cells and eat it up and turn it into humus, humic materials, smaller pieces that insects can eat on and all types of things in terms of cycling. So today, as microbiology progresses, we have more and more products that contain microbes that have the enzymes to break down these materials. Now, for those of you using microbes for the first time, oftentimes they think, well, if we spray something like a residue manager on in the fall, it's designed to eat the fodder up, it'll be, all be gone by spring, and that's not the case. The objective is get it opened up and get little holes in it so that the material inside your stalks can actually get microbes in them as well. And then that material will break down and be softened, be open to water penetration, be open to other microbes to chew them down smaller and smaller and release the nutrition. So proper residue management down to a certain point so that we get the best of both worlds and all things together is our objective. And the way we do that is basically spraying a microbial package that contains the microbes specifically designed to eat on this material and break it down. And the products that we're making there today contain those microbes to be able to make that more efficient. So why should I use the microbes in Environoc 501? Well, first and foremost, to change organic matter over to stored energy and nutrition for your soil and crop. There's a lot of energy there that we don't want to go to waste or be blown away to someone else's place to be able to give them that benefit. Number two, proper degradation of that stubble with beneficial microbes, not disease microbes. When you hear words like anthracnose, gibberella, diplodia, these are organisms that are breaking down your crop. You give, it gives us uh, stalk rot and root rot. They possess the same enzymes to break this crop down. But as you break the crop down with them, you're building disease organisms. You don't want to do that. Number three, there are 25 strains of beneficials in Environoc 501 that specialize in the proper and complete degradation of the crop stubble, especially lignin and cellulose cellulose, degrading microbes, rarely found in other soil biostimulants. There may be a lot of microbes in some, but you need specialized ones to work on stubble. Number four, saving rubber on tires on your equipment. My goodness, if you haven't checked the price of rubber lately, uh, it could cost as much as $40,000 to put tires on a brand new tractor or even an older tractor with needing new tires. The stubble is sharp and, and oftentimes stands straight up in the air. It's very difficult uh, on tires when you're running over them. So you could actually soften up this material and make it much more easy on your equipment if you have it broken down to a, a more degraded form. But obviously the benefits, what we come down to. Number one, as always, economics. You're looking for nutrient recycling, humus formation to hold water and hold micronutrients, 
you need these things working it for you on your farm. Make this residue work for you. Turn it into real dollars, real money. If you can take this material and turn it into humus, into an organic form, it will actually chelate or bind your nutrition properly and hold it for the long term. It will keep it from turning into things like ions, like simple fertilizers that you may buy, maybe may ions that are water soluble, and they may leach away over time. But if you get organic material built up, they will hold it in very, very specialized forms. Get that energy cre in increase in conversion that we talked about a while ago into your farm. Energy can be neither created nor destroyed, it's transformed. So once it's here, you want to keep it here and turn it into energy for building crops later on. Last but not least, profits. We're talking about economics, but profits the bottom line. An eight to ten dollar investment could easily make you into the hundred dollar range with just nutrients and water holding capacity but it could be hundreds of dollars when you actually factor in each and every one of the small pieces that we've talked about today, especially, as we said, just in keeping tires on your equipment. If you have further questions, please get a hold of us or your local representative. It's our job and our joy to be able to help you understand how to really make proper use of these great technologies.